We're in Manitoba with a special guest, Tyler's Real Fish. And Tyler and I have been social media buddies for a while, I guess. A while. First for a while. time meeting in person, though. First time meeting, and this is Tyler's first time fishing in Manitoba. And right now, he's pinching all of his barbs, which is new to him. Mm -hmm. But it'll save our hands if we get hooked. It'll be easier on the fish, and it'll be humbling when he loses a five pound bass later today. <laughs> so, we're fishing the eastern region with also Marcella Ferrier. Just a regular guest. Uh, part <laughs> of the Thrive really team. Special prank yet. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's special sometimes. He's special needs. Anyways, we're, uh, we're doing a little eastern Manitoba tour. Uh, the Nopaming Park has. I would say with confidence the best smallie fishing in um, in Manitoba as well as some big big walleyes so I mean as big everything but we're gonna be focusing on bass with a little bit of walleyes and we're gonna have a two-day smackdown so thank you for coming along heck yeah brother feeling good Giant. My gosh! Oh, we got. He's got him. Got him. Got him. Unreal. Oh my gosh, Marcel! That is big. That is huge. My gosh! My. Marcel just hooked a giant. Five minutes into fishing, we look over the side of the boat and we're like, okay, that is a big, big bass. Who's gonna net it? That's the question. I I should, you have a better I'll camera. Okay, okay, you net it. it. That is a big one, dude. Oh my god. How's that Marcel? Good start? <laughs> this could be a new PB for Marcel. What was that on? Lacrosse. Oh, oh that's big. Oh, 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 oh. Oh! Oh! oh my this god. is stressful. Oh, we're five this minutes in. This is so in. stressful. We're five minutes in. It's just eight on contact. Oh, that was cool. Oh, oh, oh. Yes! Oh, that's a big, that's a oh, that's big a big bass. bass. Bring it, bring it up here. We throw in the tape. Woo. My goodness. Oh my. Wow. Wow. Hold that <laughs> horizontal. My goodness. That is big. Holy smokes. <laughs> big, small. Guys, <laughs> first bass of the trip. Right we saw there. what, like a couple yards away? <laughs> Just insane. pitched it a couple. He's like, oh, <laughs> it's there. Oh, we okay. ate it. Throw it on the tape. What do we got? First bass, 20 incher. Okay, right Just there. shy 20, 19 and a half. Yeah, almost 20. And 19 and a half. Unreal. Personal best for Marcel. <laughs> In the Nopaming Eastern that. region. That or is a six. beautiful fish. Let's get this guy back. Literally two minutes in. Look at that beast. Woo! Let's go, buddy. First fish. Right. Right that was a big one. That was that was a good start. I knew that there's a potential that it could be good, but that's that's a cracker of a first fish. What was that? New noise, never hurt nobody except for wedding All right, new spot. It's getting hot. It's all been downhill since that first bass. But I think a PB is coming for Tyler pretty soon. Could this be my biggest smallie of the day? I don't think it's as big as Marcel's four and a half pounder. Just watching Tyler trip all over the boat. That's a nice bass. The average size here is good. We're not catching tons of fish, but there are some big fish in this lake. Nice. And there we go, my biggest smallie of the day. We are about to get to what I think is probably gonna be our A spot today, our best water. So I'm gonna release this fish, 18 incher, master angler. Master number two of the day. We're gonna put this back. All right, little update. It's been a major, major lull, but Marcel hooked up on the spinner bait. Second biggest of the day, adding to his total. So far he's crushing us. And that is another master smallie. That one was 3.7 pounds. Oh, oh big, ooh, big, big, big. big, big, big. We got us a giant eight boat side. I think we found an area. I think we're getting onto them. Yep. This is one. my biggest of the day. Ooh. On the swim bait. That is a big wide bass. Oh, <laughs> man. 
We haven't been catching tons, but the average size today is just ridiculous. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh. 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 That's okay. That's okay. That's probably a four pounder. Sorry. What you got? What you got? This feels good. We know you want that. He's got something big. He's got a big smiley. Oh boy. Jay's got one. Oh, there's a follower. Get Is it really? Yep, 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 yep. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. That was almost really, really bad. I got him. I got the follower. Oh. Gosh dang it. I had the follower. He came out and ate it. Finally got a good one. This, uh, this guy choked a swim bait. I think we're starting to get a bit of a pattern. Look at the bellies. Look at the, look at the belly on that fish. Ooh. That is a chunky, chunky monkey right there. Oh. He was one foot in there. Shoot. Oh, that's big. Shoot. That's big. Marcel. Unreal. Let me get a camera. Which camera should I get? You want to do this one? Yep. All right. He's got a big one. Oh my gosh, Marcel. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh. Yes. There that's you go. Go. Wow, I didn't think that's it was that four. big. No, I didn't either. Wow. We're doing it. Marcel's on fire. Back <laughs> in the boat. <laughs> Got him. You got a big one. Big one, big and big and big and. Yeah. There we go. We are on him, boys. We have figured out the pattern this evening. And the pattern. Oh, this thick, healthy smallmouth <laughs> on spinnerbaits. <laughs> I don't know what I got. It's like we're at the point now where we don't even. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's a bass! That's a bass. Whoa. 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 Three and a half. Is it go time? Yes. Three and a half pounder. There you go. Good pound Man. upgrade from last time. Awesome. Definitely. Take a couple stills and put it back. Beautiful fish. Big body. Oh yeah. Well, I think it's safe to say we didn't figure things out right away. It took a little bit. We've been fishing for how many hours now? We started fishing at... Ten, Started fishing five. at 10. It's probably four or five o'clock now. Only in the last three, two to three hours, I'd say we figured things out. We did get lucky with a big one right at the start, but it was the guy at the back of the boat, Marcel, throwing a spinner bait that showed us we need to change things up. I don't know, Tyler, do you want to talk about, uh, about why? The reaction bait type thing? Uh, just, yeah, kind of yeah. what we figured out. So, you know, when, when you go out on the water, you got to go in with kind of an open mind on, as to how the fish are going to react. And we get out, get out here today expecting them to bite, you know, classic smallmouth baits, you know, finesse tactics like a, a drop shot, Ned rig, hair jig type thing, especially when these fish are feeding on mayflies like they should be during this mayfly hatch that we're having right now. But as the day progressed, we kind of got less and less bites doing that sort of thing. And Marcel, I mean, we laughed at him for pulling out the spinnerbait. We're like, you're never gonna catch a smallmouth on a white spinnerbait. And then he goes off and, and catches a big one. And so, of course, you, you follow the guy that's got the bent rod, the bent rod pattern. And uh, we kind of figured out these fish are in an active mood. We don't exactly know why. We don't know if they're pre-spawn or post-spawn bass, but they're fat and they're excited to eat this thing. And so basically we cast it out there and reel it straight back in. Not a whole lot of action involved. You know what is the action involved? It's a big bass. Good stuff. Oh, you got him. Big oh. one. Big one. Good grief. Nah, that's not a big one. Oh, oh. Did you catch 
that? Did I get that? I did get that. I hope you did. <laughs> that was insane. Oh my gosh. We're calling it a day. That's a wrap. Be back at it early tomorrow. Marcel is a star today. I'm predicting Tyler tomorrow. Back at it after some big, big bronze bass. And I think we're gonna switch lakes. But for now, we'll have some beautiful drone footage as we fly back to the launch. It's a bit of a disaster. I'll just cut some of these drops that way. When you have three fishermen in the boat and you don't know what the fish are biting, that is our situation today. It is day two. We're fishing a new lake in the Nopaming today, and uh, it's raining, a little different weather. Today is gonna be Tyler's day. Yesterday was Marcel's day. He lit it up, couple four pounders. I didn't do quite as well, lost a big one. Tyler caught some bass and a lot of pike. So I, I don't know, what, what do you, what's gonna happen differently today? Oh, oh, are, are we starting it quick? That's that was, that was ridiculous timing. That was ridiculous <laughs> timing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. All right, we're back at it with Tyler's Joel Fishing, Marcella Ferrier, day two on our bass tour. And we're looking for a PB. I think it's a bass. Oh, nice one. Oh. <laughs> Come on. That was only like a three and a half. But you oh, know that was a good start. So Tyler, let's, uh, I was thinking something to be good for the viewers uh -huh. is to give them some tips on Tips for the guy in the back of the boat. Obviously Marcel did well yesterday, being yes. there's three guys in the boat. With three people in the boat, you're covering water very fast. And I don't know, do you wanna give some give some pointers? Cause you've, you've been co-angler before in some bigger tournaments. I have been. So you know, for guys in the back of the boat that are fishing, oftentimes you're not gonna wanna throw the same thing that if you're in a, if you're in a tournament per se, that you're pro in the front is throwing. So like yesterday, I think Jay and I are both throwing top waters and Ned rigs, that kind of stuff. And so Marcel, uh, being the crazy Canadian he is through a spinnerbait and that's kind of what co is all about, is that you want to throw something, even if it's outlandish and off the wall, you want to throw something that you're, the guy in the front of the boat is not throwing, and that oftentimes will get you the bites that, that the guy in the front is not getting. And then as well, you want to be paying very close attention to where he's throwing. So, I don't know, I can't speak for Marcel what he was doing yesterday, but what you want to do is basically look at the, the angles and the places where you're, uh, your, your boater is, is casting and fishing, and you want to kind of work the areas in and around that because there's way more fish than the guy in the front can catch. There's so many fish in, in, in every lake in the, in the country, and so you wanna make sure that you're covering the water that the guy in the front is not. Got it. Got it? Yep. Oh my gosh. I don't know, but he just slammed me and then trying to catch up to him. Gosh, gosh, chill out, fish. Tyler's hooked up. We got a good one. Come on, fish, come on. Come Day on. two, early morning. Come on, Tyler. Don't this is do your it. day. Don't do it to me. Oh, it is, it is that size. That's a nice fish. Yes. Ooh, there we go. Woo! That's a good one. That's a good one, heck yeah. And top of the mouth on the chatterbait. Absolute beauty. Such a cool fish. I love it like this lake, this is like an average size fish. <laughs> this would be a giant down south, an absolute giant down south. So cool. Beauty. See ya. We've relocated to the base of the waterfalls. We're gonna put the drone up. Tyler's gonna to throw top water on, and we're gonna to try to get some cool footage. Guys are doubled up, doubled up, doubled, doubled up. up. What do we got? We got mine's any size? Decent. I think mine's decent too. Here's as good. Am I gonna net both and film this? Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, my, yeah. oh boy. Who's big? Uh, three and a half, I think. Three and a half's big. What do we trust? Me netting it? Oh. Mine's like three, barely. Oh boy. Come on. There's a lot going on. Oh, that's a big one. 
Okay, shoot jump, my first cast with the, uh, the crop. Oh, Ooh. Oh, oh, scary. scary. I'm scared about trying to net this. Scary moment. Oh, I don't want to force him. Go. Oh, yeah. we got one. Woo! Let's go. Oh, you got you that? Do you want to net it? No, you net, you net. I'm filming. <laughs> I, got one, I got my fish in the net, and then Marcel's. Oh, those are both good ones. Oh, doubled. Oh. Look at that. That is a bunch of big bass right there. Look at that, guys. Manitoba double header. Let's go. He's a fat boy. All right, put, put him on the tape. Is that double header master anglers? I think so. I don't know if mine will get there. No, oh, it's close, but just a football. Uh, mine is 18. Oh, yeah, 18. 18. Master yeah. angler. Nice. Oh, yeah. 19. Almost. 18 and a 19 double header. That's, that's good, Let's boys. Go. Here we go. Double header on the release. Coming away slowly, but they're healthy. Let me tell you, I'm feeling it. Let me tell you. Oh, oh, Marcel. Oh, yes. Oh! I don't know how big, but it's big. Yeah, let me get the net. We got a big one. Where is the net? We got a, a monster. Little lull in the action. We're oh. about to call it a trip. Nice and monster thing. Marcel is hooked up again. Could Marcel break it? Oh! So big, big <laughs> so big, big. How are you feeling, Marcel? I'm pumped. Already broke oh. my PB yesterday. I don't think this one's gonna do it no, again, it's but big. it's big. But it's a big fish, man. Dude. Jay actually, he just said, we're about to "I think we should leave spot. this spot." And Tyler and I were like, uh, "I don't know. This spot looks pretty good." And the next cast, yeah. Marcel's definitely the star of this trip, <laughs> man. Let's go! <laughs> wow, my friend. That's Day awesome. Day two, little tougher, but. We're still, still cracking there. them. So good. So Get good. This guy back. She gone. Well, this might be the last time you ever see Tyler on the vlog. Ever? No, I'm just kidding. No. Thank you, Tyler, uh -huh. for coming all the way to Manitoba. Good and time. Enjoying some smallmouth oh, yeah. of the big variety. Unfortunately, Tyler didn't get his jumbo, but that means he's gonna come back. Marcel stole the show this time. He did. So this, this might be actually Marcel's last time on the vlog. Um, <laughs> Possibly. What did we learn? You know, when fish are scattered after the spawn, which is I think what we determined, yeah. they're scattered. You gotta fish a lot of shoreline. You gotta, you know, try everything. We caught some fish on some deep banks where they're eating bait fish. We caught them up in the shallow weeds. And at that point, fast with the reaction bait and you just, you cover ground. It's not always some special pattern. Sometimes it's just fishing as much water as possible. Eastern Manitoba, Nopaming, there are so many good lakes. Shoe Lake, Booster Lake, Tooth Lake, Cornell Lake, uh, Manigatagan, uh, Manigatagan River has small ice as well. Um, there's a ton that I didn't list either and, and the ones I didn't list might be some of the best. If you're not subscribed to Tyler's Real Fishing, make sure you subscribe. He is very informative. He is a very good videographer. He likes to film fish eating random things underwater, such as turtles, armadillos. Uh, he once had a video of a bass eating a raccoon. Uh -huh. Crazy stuff. Crazy. Check out his channel, make sure you subscribe, and we'll, uh, we'll see you later. Anything else we need to tell the viewers? Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs? Nope. Uh, catch more fish. Yeah, catch big bass. Um, respect your mom. It's pretty important as well. And uh, as Marcel's tattoo says, do what you can. Is that what it says? Yeah. Yes! Yeah.